Hello once again. The lesson today is about capitalization. If learned and understood properly, you can avoid many spelling errors in your writing. Knowing when and where one should use the capital letter can be confusing, but if you learn the rules, using them in sentences shouldn't be an issue. At first glance, the rules of capitalization seem simple. You probably know you should capitalize proper nouns, names of people and places, and the first word of every sentence. But you also, sometimes, capitalize the first word of a quote. Usually, you don't capitalize after a colon, but there are exceptions. And what do you do when you're not sure whether something is a proper noun? Let's look at the rules of capitalization. Turn to Unit 4, Revision Point, page 46 in your pupil's book. It's pretty straightforward. According to the blue box given, we are informed that capitalization should take place in the first letter of every sentence. Yes, that is a fact. When you start a fresh sentence, you must start it with a capital letter. Let's look at the example they have given. Lions are endangered animals. Look at how the first letter in the sentence is a capital letter. This rule is pretty straightforward and shouldn't be too difficult to remember. The second rule given in your pupil's book is the capitalization of proper nouns or rather names of people and places. To make you understand this rule better, they've given some examples. Veerasingha, which is a surname, starts with a capital letter. Radhika, a first name, also starts with a capital letter. Names of places, countries and regions also start with capital letters. For example, Dhyatalava, Canada, and Asia. Next, you are told to capitalize the pronoun I. Every time you use the pronoun I, write it out as a capital I. The example that they have given is, where did I put my spectacles? So, when writing in the first person or if you were to write a diary entry, you may need to remember to capitalize I. The next rule given is that you need to capitalize the first letter of the days of the week and months of a year. They have given the examples of Sunday and January. As you would notice, Sunday starts with the capital S and January starts with the capital J. Look at the days of the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, those are the weekdays and Saturday and Sunday are days of the weekend. And look at the months of the year. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November and December. So, if I were to write the sentence, my birthday falls on the first Friday in the month of December, I should pay special attention to capitalize the first letter of Friday and December. You would also notice that the first letter of that sentence is capitalized too. What's interesting is that though we capitalize days, months and even holidays like Independence Day, we do not capitalize the names of seasons. For example, you don't say winter with a capital W. Instead, we say winter. You also need to capitalize when referring to titles. You know, the Mr, Miss or Mrs before a name. So as an example, you can write, I bought the Sunday newspaper for Mr Veerasingha. Note how Sunday starts with a capital letter. So does the proper noun Veerasingha and the title Mr. You will also need to capitalize the first sentence that is a direct quote. 
Look at the example that has been given in your book. The interviewer asked, should we stop using polythene? If you noticed, the quote in this sentence is presented in between speech marks. Should starts with capital letter, so does the first letter of the sentence. The next point given is names of bodies of water. Yes, whenever you refer to the names of bodies of water like the Indian Ocean and the Nile, you capitalize the first letter. You can also refer to it as River Nile too. So in a sentence, I can say, I saw a large log floating down the Mahavali River. Capital letters are also used when mentioning the names of planets. Look at some of the examples they have given. Mars, Jupiter, Earth. Let's look at how we can include this in a sentence. Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system and Mercury is the smallest. You should use capital letters when you state names of nationalities, languages and religions. As an example, look at what has been given in your book. Indians, English, Buddhism and Christianity. So in the sentence, I am a proud Sri Lankan, the S and the L are in capitals. Of course, the sentence which starts with an I also starts with a capital letter. Finally, the last point given in the revision point is the names of government bodies. Yes, you will most definitely have to capitalize the first letter of the names of government bodies. For example, municipal council. Now that you have some idea of when and where you use capital letters, Let's look at activity 12 on page 46. You are asked to rewrite the following essay with correct capitalization. Let's do it together. The letters that need to be capitalized are presented in red. Flying kites is a favorable pastime of mine. Not only is it enjoyable and exciting, it is also an environmentally friendly recreational activity. It takes us out of doors into the fresh air as well. Every year in July and in August, my friends Udaya, Rishan and I go to Panadura Beach to fly kites. We make kites of various shapes and sizes. Udaya's uncle, Mr. Pereira, always helps us with our work. He is very good at making kites. Apart from flying kites, we enjoy looking at kites. It is so interesting to see many colourful kites fluttering in the sky. We usually select Sundays because that's when you can see the most beautiful collection. Rishan says that the Chinese believe that looking up at a kite improves your eyesight. I think we are fortunate that Sri Lanka is an island surrounded by the Indian Ocean. That is why we have plenty of wind to fly kites. You would have noticed that all these words that have been highlighted start with a capital letter because it is the start of a sentence. Remember, we usually start a sentence with a capital letter. The two words that have been highlighted in green start with a capital letter because they are names of months, July and August. The word Sundays also starts with a capital letter because it's the name of a day. The words highlighted in green are names of people. You have Udaya, Rishan and the surname Pereira. They are proper nouns and need to start with a capital letter. Similarly, you have names of places that are also proper nouns and these words also start with the capital letter. They are highlighted in blue. I have also capitalized names of nationalities. Chinese and Sri Lanka have been capitalized. You would also notice that the pronoun I has also been capitalized. Finally, the name of a body of water has been capitalized in this essay. 
the Indian Ocean. So there you have it. That's how you capitalize sentences. Think about the tips we discussed when writing any form of text so that you are sure not to make any errors while writing. You can now attempt activity 13 on your own. Three sentences have been given and you are asked to rewrite the sentences using capital letters where necessary. Once you do it on your own, you can compare your answers with the corrected sentences that are presented on the screen now. But please do attempt them first on your own. You would notice that the letters that need to be capitalized are presented in red. I do hope you found this lesson on capitalization useful. You will definitely need to remember the rules of capitalization as they will help you answer questions in your O-level paper. Capitalization is also important when you write any form of text. So it is vital that you master it and know when to use capital letters when you write. Please do subscribe to our channel if you wish to watch more videos like the one you just saw. Till we meet next, have a great time.